Okay, I just saw the coolest tutorial on how to essentially create a digital notebook for your students that you can continually update that will update on their side and also that they can edit. So it's a little complicated, so I'm gonna walk you through it. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to choose your slideshow that you want to push to students. And you wanna name it something that you understand that this is your version. So I'm gonna use my choir slideshow. This is a great one for me to use because I'm not 100% sure all the things that I wanna use this year. So I'm going to call this teacher version. And as you can see, I actually included some blank slides at the end so that I can push more content later on. You wanna check your sharing permissions and make sure that it is set to view only. And as you see, it is. So the next thing that you want to do is go and create a new presentation. And I'm gonna title this student version Twenty twenty two choir. Okay. And now I'm going to go, this is important. You're not going to make, you're not going to go to file, make a copy. You are actually going to go to, you're going to hit control a or command a that highlights all of your slides. You're going to hit control or command C now go over to that student version and you're going to paste it in there. So now this next part is really important. You are going to make sure that you go to link and keep originals. This is how you're going to be able to update student slides. You can go back and delete that first one. And now do you see where there is a chain right here? That is how your students are going to be able to link. So now when I go back into my teacher version, let's say that I am going to do something really simple. I'm just going to change the color of these so that you can get an idea of what happens. I'm actually just going to highlight it. So this is in my, again, it's in my teacher version. When I go to my student version and I click on that slide, you're going to see where it says update. It, when the students click on that, it's automatically going to update what I did. So I could go back over here. I could erase that because it looked kind of weird anyway. And again, you can see that it says update. So when you're ready to push this to students, you're gonna want to send them make a copy. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can click share and you can copy the link and then go to that link. And at the end where it says edit dash sharing, you're gonna hit backspace and then type in copy. So now when students go there, they can make a copy. You can also use this fantastic Google Chrome extension called Sir Links a lot. I know just based on the name alone, I feel like that's why we should use it. Sir Links a lot. I'm going to click on it and you're going to click force copy and that's automatically going to do the same thing. This is a cool extension that if you want more of a tutorial on, I think I have it somewhere already in this playlist. You can make a template or even make it into a PDF. Template is great if you're wanting to share with other teachers because it's not forcing people to make a copy and then taking up space in the Google Drive. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do force copy. I'm gonna copy it. So I'm going to go into a new window. I'm going to paste that and it's going to do the exact same thing. Oh, I spelled version wrong. So now when a student makes a copy, as you can see, it's going to do the exact same thing. So if I go to my teacher version, Let's do that same thing we did before. And I'm just going to do something crazy. 
going to go to their version. And again, as you can see, it's going to say update. So just a really cool way um, for each student to have their own copy that they can also type on, but it's not going to affect my version. As you can see, I'm not going to link it. So kids can copy um, and paste. I mean, they can do whatever they want to their own slides. And then it's going to, um, it'll, it'll put their content and yours. If they mess up, let's say that they delete this slide and they're like, oh no. If you go to here and go to open source, they can now see the teacher version and then they can make a copy of it that way. Anyway, I think this is a really cool thing that I'm gonna play around with a little bit more, but I wanted to show you because I was so excited about it.